Reverend Chairman Sir, Honorable Principal Sir, Teachers and my dear colleagues, Assalamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh and a very, very good morning to all of you. I am Nadia Tasneem from 8th Standard of Green Valley Educational Institute, Yari Bora. It's an honor and an equal humbling for both of us to host you all in today's students-led conference. We welcome and hail you all on the days of the days as your presence is what adds vibrance to the stage. We extend a very warm welcome to all of you and it's such a joyous moment, such a happy moment for all of us as your presence enlightens us and a gathering as distinguished as this one is, you know, quite inspiring. Thank you very much to all the members for joining this wonderful event today. Now, before we get started, I would like my friend to introduce herself and speak some words in front of you all. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. I would like to extend a warm welcome to the respected principal sir, honorable teachers and your students. I am Dia Iqbal, student from 8th standard of Green Valley Educational Institute, Yaribora. We are very pleased and happy to see you all here today at this students-led conference program. Thank you very much for joining us today. We hope you all will enjoy this program and that it turns out to be a great success and memorable one for all of us. Before starting this program, I would like to thank the organizing team participants for all the hard work put into this event. We will try our best to make this program a memorable one. So let's get ready for the wonderful and amazing event. To inaugurate it, my call goes to Faukila Fayaz from 9th Standard. Faukila, please come up on the days. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytani r-rajim. Bismillahi r-rahmani r-rahim. Tabarakalladhi biyadihi al-mulku wa huwa ala kulli shay'in qadir. الذي خلق الموت والحياة ليبلوكم أيكم أحسن عملا وهو العزيز الغفور الذي خلق سبع سماوات طباقا ما ترى في خلق الرحمن من تفاوت فارجع البصر هل ترى من فتور ثم ارجع البصر قرتين ينقلب إليك البصر خاسيا وهو حصير ولقد زينا السماء الدنيا سماء الدنيا بمصابيها وجعلناها رجوما للشياطين واعتدنا لهم عذاب الصعير وللذين كفروا بربهم عذاب جهنم وبئس المصير إذا ألقوا فيها سمعوا لها شهيقا وهي تفور جزاك الله وحسن الجزاء وہ آج شاہدی ہے وہ تاج مرسلی ہے وہ طیب و امی ہے اس کی سنا یہی ہے اس نور پر فدا ہوں اس کا ہی میں ہوا ہوں وہ ہے میں چیز کیا ہوں بس فیصلہ یہی ہے After this beautiful recitation of Holy Quran I would like to request one of the wonderful students of this institute namely Ayman Asif from class 7 for presenting in Nath Sharif Please come on the dais 
तेरे कदमों में आना मेरा काम था मेरी बिगड़ी बनाना तेरा काम है तेरे कदमों में आना मेरा काम था मेरी बिगड़ी बनाना तेरा काम है तेरे कदमों में आना मेरा काम था मेरी किस्मत जगाना तेरा काम है मेरी आँखों को है दीद की आरज़ू मेरी आँखों को है दीद की आरज़ू रुख से पर्दा उठाना तेरा काम है तेरे कदमों में आना मेरा काम था मेरी बिगड़ी बनाना तेरा काम है तेरे कदमों में आना मेरा काम था मेरी किस्मत जगाना तेरा काम है तेरी चोखट कहा और कहा जबी तेरी चोखट कहा और कहा जबी तेरे फैजो करम की तो हद ही नहीं जिनको दुनिया में कोई न अपना कहे जिनको दुनिया में कोई न अपना कहे उनको अपना बनाना तेरा काम है तेरे कदमों में आना मेरा काम था मेरी किस्मत जगाना तेरा काम है तेरे कदमों में आना मेरा काम था मेरी बिगड़ी बनाना तेरा काम है माशाल्लाह जिंदगी कुछ और शाही है इल्म है कुछ और शाही जिंदगी कुछ और शाही है इल्म है कुछ और शाही जिंदगी सोजे जिगर है इल्म है सोजे दिमाग इल्म में दौलत भी है कुदरत भी है लज्जत भी है इल्म में दौलत भी है कुदरत भी है लज्जत भी है एक मुश्किल है कि हाथ आता नहीं अपना सुराग Now let's get ready for the first performance of this program and it will be my pleasure to invite Hadika Mubarak and her group from 7th grade put your hands together for all of them Good morning everyone welcome to our station This is me Hadika Mubarak it's me Nilo for Nafees me Madiha Shahnawaz Today we are going to talk about layers of atmosphere. Before we dive into the topic, let's understand what the atmosphere is. The atmosphere is a huge blanket of air surrounding the earth. The atmosphere is very important to us as it provides us air we breathe. It protects us from the harmful rays of the sun. It makes our earth suitable for living creatures by controlling its temperature. So dear audience, what will happen if there is no atmosphere? That's great. Without the atmosphere, there will be no life on the earth. The atmosphere is very important to us. As we have learned, the atmosphere is a layer of air surrounding the earth. We may not be able to see it, but the atmosphere has many layers. I will now explain the first and the second layer of the atmosphere. So listen carefully. The troposphere is the first layer of the atmosphere. It's a layer we live in. 
all live at the phenomena occurring this layer. The height of this layer is approximately 12 to 30 km. The next layer of the atmosphere is stratosphere. It extends up to the 50 km. This layer of atmosphere almost has no clouds and is ideal for flying aeroplanes. As you can see here, it is also has the ozone layer which protects us from the harmful effect of the sun's rays. The ozone layer absorbs some of the sun's heat to making the top of this layer very hot. The next layer is the mesosphere. The mesosphere is the third most layer of atmosphere. It extends up to 80 kilometers. It is the coldest layer of atmosphere. Meteors that enter the atmosphere burn in this layer. Now my lovely listeners, I'm going to talk about the fourth layer of atmosphere, which is thermosphere. The thermosphere extends up to 700 km. This layer of atmosphere is very hot because it absorbs a lot of sun's radiation. Radio waves that are used by TVs, radios are reflected to the earth by this layer of atmosphere. Now, dear audience, I'm going to explain the last layer of atmosphere, which is the exosphere. The exosphere is the outermost layer of atmosphere. It thins up into the space. Satellites orbit the Earth in this layer. This layer is very cold at night and very hot during day. We hope you enjoyed our presentation. Thank you for your time. What a wonderful performance. Thank you very much. Now let's move towards the second presentation of the event. For this, I may invite her Ali Ashraf and her group from class six to present a topic on the most to present a topic on the most crucial issue of present scenario, that's global warming. Please welcome all of them warmly and with a big applause. Assalamualaikum everyone. We are from class 6th. It's me Ali Ashraf. It's me Farzana Fayaz. I am Asma Froze. Today we are going to discuss about a recent topic that's global warming. So let us start without wasting your precious time. So we know how we live on our wasteful planet Earth. Well, Earth is like a jade greenhouse. If you ever big inside on greenhouse, the sun rays comes from the windows, but they can escape and that's why the greenhouse gets and stays warm. But here on earth, in a state of greenhouse, we have an atmosphere that surrounds our planet like a big invisible blanket. This is how the greenhouse effect and help us to keep our planet on such a perfect temperature. But here's the thing. People have been doing things that are making the blanket thicker and thicker. We have fossil fuels like gasoline, coal, petrol, but we also cut down the large number of trees too and this is what's adding more and more. You see, when the sun rays come down the earth, they warm up the ground, but then some of that heat tries to escape back up into the space. That's why the greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide, water vapors, methane, etc. in the earth's temperature comes into the planet. These greenhouse gases, mainly carbon dioxide that we exhale, trap the heat and bounce it back down the ground. But just like anything too much, our good things can be back. When we add too many greenhouse gases to the atmosphere, it can make the earth too warm and cause 
all kinds of problems like melting of ice caps, changing weather patterns. And that's why it's calling global warming because our earth is a globe and it gets warm and will cause global warming. This increase in global temperatures leads to significant change in other abiotic factors too. This in turn affects all organisms. Now let's understand this through some examples. In the polar regions the ice caps are melting down. For example, the polar bears. This means the loss of their homes as well as their prey. Due to increase in temperature, grasslands are getting drier, slowly, slowly turning into deserts. This means that animals in grasslands are losing their lives due to lack of food, plants and water. Global warming is increasing the temperatures of the oceans too. This means that all the aquatic lives like corals and fish are negatively impacted. The abiotic factors of all these habitats are changing, but the plants and animals in these habitats are not able to adapt to the change at the same speed. So, animals and plants are losing their homes and dying as they are unable to survive in these harsh conditions. If we have to prevent global warming, we do not have to cut down the large number of trees, which means that we should prevent deforestation. We should not burn fossil fuels. We should plant more and more trees. If we all work together, we can keep our planet happy and have people for a long time. Thank you for your time. Wow, what a great performance by the three blooming birds. Now let's move towards the next presentation by Malik Aksa from fourth grade. Malik Aksa, please come up on the dice and share your knowledge with all of us. Assalamu alaikum to everyone. Myself, Malik Aksa from 4th grade of Green Valley School. Today, I will teach you how to compare 5 digit numbers. For this, first we will know what's comparing numbers. Comparing numbers means the method in which we can see whether a number is greater than, smaller than or equal. Comparing numbers, wo method hai, jisse hum dek sakte hai, ek number bada hai, chota hai ya barabar hai. Second, we will know what are five digit numbers. Five digit numbers are numbers that have five digit, in which their first digit should be one or greater than one and rest of the digits will be between zero to 9 any number jo ye 5 digit number hota hai isme 5 digits hote hain iska pehla digit shuru hota hai 1 se aur usse aage koi bhi number aur jo baaki ke digits hai rest of the digits will be between 0 to 9 any number aur jo baaki ke digits hai wo 0 to 9 any number aa sakta hai between 0 to 9 koi bhi number aa sakta hai do you know student a 5 digit number starts from 10000 and ends on 99999 we will use place value chart for comparing five digit numbers what's a place value chart a place value chart kya hota hai a place value chart shows us the place of a number a place value chart hame number ki jagah dikhata hai do you know students there are three symbols of comparing five digit numbers First symbol greater than in right side, second symbol smaller than and left side, and third symbol is equal to. Students, I have this egg like shape. I divide this egg like shape into two parts. These are two equal parts. Which symbol is used here? When numbers are equal, symbol of is equal to is used. However, I tell you everything, but not the steps of comparing five-digit numbers. Let us move to the steps. I will write the example here. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, and ten thousand. 
ones, tens, hundreds, and ten thousand. And ten thousand. Ten thousand. फिर से रिपीट आई विल राइट ए नंबर हियर 22,321 22,321 So let us go to the first step first step different number of digits count the number of digits the more the digits the bigger the number pehla step hai count karo digits ko gino digits ko kya ye alag alag tarah ke digits hai jitne zyada digits honge utne hi bada number bhi banega but these are same so we will go to the next step next step is both or five digit numbers check the 10000 place the bigger the 10000 place the bigger the number hame 10000 place check karni hai jitni bar jitna bada 10000 place pe number hoga utna hi bada number bhi banega so we will check but here is same so i will go to the third step third step is same 10000 digit check the thousand digit the bigger the thousand digit the bigger the number jaise humne 10000 digit ko check kiya waise hame thousand digit ko bhi check karna hai jitna bada thousand digit pe number hoga utna hi bada number bhi banega but here is also same so we will go to the next step first step same 10000 1000 check the hundreds digit the bigger the hundreds digit the bigger the number so we will check the hundreds digit 3 and 3 here is same so we will go to the next step next step is same 10000 1000 hundreds check the tens digit the bigger the tens digit the bigger the number 2 and 2 here is same so we will go to the sixth step sixth step is same 10000 1000 hundreds and tens check the ones digit the bigger the ones digit the bigger the number so we will check the ones digit here is same the last step numbers are equal yes numbers are equal we will use the symbol of is equal to we have learned the steps of comparing numbers phi ka ek bal kam here choose an any two flash cards here this and this Faika Iqbal chose these two flash cards. I will write the number of flash cards here. Can I go? Go. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, and ten thousand. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, and ten thousands. Let us write the numbers here. First number is twenty-one thousand. Two hundred thirty-four, and second number is ten thousand one hundred twenty-three. So we will use the steps. First step is different number of digits, but there are same number of digits. So we will go to the next step. Check the ten thousand place. The bigger the ten thousand place, the bigger the number. We will check the ten thousand place. Here is two, and here is one. Which is bigger, two or one? Yes, two is bigger. So twenty one thousand two hundred thirty four is greater than ten thousand one hundred twenty three. I think you like my lecture today. Thank you. Have a nice day.